Hello and welcome to Thoroughgood Associates Web Clip Series, empowering business users with ClickView 11. Today we're going to be talking about web-based ad hoc reporting and we're going to be doing demos involving in-browser report building. My name is Corey Hulse and I am a consultant here with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood Associates is an independent business intelligence specialist and we're also a ClickView partner. Now let's get into today's demo. For this next demonstration, I'm going to be playing the role of an analyst. I have a ClickView application that's been provided to me by my IT department. It already has a complete data model, but I'm interested in, in getting a little bit more insight than the graphs that were created by my IT group. I have a dashboard here which does give me some information, and I have a brand snapshot tab which does allow me a deeper dive into the data that I'm looking at, but I need a little bit more. Notice that I don't have anything here helping me split things out by region. I'd like to create my own chart to dive into that information on my own. So what I can do, I have a reporting template tab that my IT group has set up where it's a, just a blank starting point for me. What this allows me to do is to right click and add a new sheet object into the application. Notice that I'm in a browser, I'm not in the native application. I'm creating these charts on the fly using the browser. So I know what I'm interested to do is add up the values that I have in my data model to maybe split things out by region. So I'm going to click and drag a straight table on here and notice how by default it's given me uh, some options already. If I right click and go into properties, this will allow me to configure the properties of this particular object to split it out by how I want it. So I know that I'm interested in region. And I also know a little bit about the data that's underneath. And I know that if I add an expression summing up the values, this will get me closer to the information that I want. And look at that. I'm now seeing my region level twos, and I'm seeing my sum of values here. I could continue to right click and make modifications and options that are available in the native application of ClickView are available here online. I have things like presentation, I can add captions, there are different options that I have here. But I'm going to close out and show a secondary feature. Let's say I'm interested to do something more complex, something that we commonly build would be prior year to date than year to date. So what I'm interested in doing is taking an existing chart that already exists in my application and modifying that to meet my current needs. So I know that I have a sales versus prior straight table available for me. I'm going to click and drag that in. I'm going to create a copy of it because I know I'm going to want to modify it. So if I click and drag this over, so my IT group has already created this chart for me that has some complicated set analysis, but I'm able to bring it into my application here and quickly modify it by right-clicking, selecting properties, and changing the dimension of how I want to split this. So we're going to split it by the same region 2 level. And notice that I already have a series of expressions here. I'm going to close out, and you'll notice that my data is now populating, and it looks good. I've taken a chart that existed elsewhere, pulled it from the repository, and modified it to meet my needs. And, and I've done this by right-clicking within an existing application right within my browser. That concludes today's demo. In-browser report building is an extremely powerful tool that enables your business users to really get a lot of value out of the data that you already have. If you're interested to learn more about ClickView 11 and how it can help your business, please reach out to us at www.thoroughgood.com.